All right, well, welcome to Groove Guitars Part 2. Uh, it's disassembly time. So I have the neck screws out. That's why the neck is cocked back a little bit. I have all the body screws out just to save time on this video. So we're going to take all this apart. I'll show you the cavities. Uh, we'll have a look at the electronics and we'll measure the pickup outputs. And then I'll come up with a plan to see what I'm going to do with this thing. All right. So first thing we're going to do, pop this neck off. Oh, it's a little snug in there. It's pretty good. All right. So first thing I notice, the heel is okay. There's a weird red spot on the tip of the heel there, or tip of the fretboard, I guess. I don't know why that's there. It doesn't make much sense to me. And the other thing I notice, well, there's a knot there, but that's not a big deal. But the other thing I notice is uh look how off those mounting holes are like they're way over to one side and those holes look narrow to me like compared to a regular plate i'm gonna check that so here's the here's the plate that i took off and what I like about it is it's recessed in this, this plastic base, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So that's good. If you're going to put a metal neck plate on the back of your guitar, make sure it's in one of these. So that's good for groove guitars. That way you don't get, like, you don't see the neck plate in, indentation in the paint of your uh, your body on the, on the back side. So here's the neck plate I took off my Amun guitar when I blacked it out. So check this out. Yeah, this is way off. So, okay. So look, this is a regular size neck plate. Cause when I ordered the black neck plate, when I blacked out the Amun, I just ordered a regular neck plate, like nothing, I didn't even check the measurements. And they were all standard size. I thought they were all the same, but this one definitely is not. So look at this. Uh, if I line these up at the bottom, look how much taller it is than the Amun plate. But then, also look how much narrower it is than the Amun plate. You see how the Amun plate is wider? So, I wonder if I can redrill those body holes and those neck holes and put like a regular size plate on there. Might make it more solid. Because if I, like, look, if I, if I take the Amun plate and I superimpose the groove plate on top of it, if I slide this over to one side, the holes, the holes on the far side actually line up. Like if I move the groove plate like way over, I don't know if you guys can see that. I can line up those holes and then see how these holes, like where the holes should be on this side and where these like are now. So that's why in the body here, that's why they're all cockeyed to one side, right? Like they're close to the edge on the inside of the pocket. And then on the horn side of the pocket, they're like, far from the edge. I think I can probably fill those holes in the neck and re-drill to fit this plate. Hmm. That might be something I'll do down the road. Anyway, comments. Comments, much appreciated. All right, let's have a look at the output of these pickups. Let me get my meter. I'm gonna move that so you guys can see it. All right, full toe and full volume. Bridge pop is What the heck? Oh, whoops, I'm on volts. Uh huh. Let's try this. Looks like 666, the number of the beast. <laughs> and the neck pickup is. Six, 
and the middle position it should be right around the four mark, a little less. Uh, it's 3.23, so about half. 3.23. So there you go. So this Tully, although the bridge pickup is 6.66, is far from being a beast. <laughs> At best, it's, uh, it's a good modding platform. <laughs> All right, under the neck pickup, we have, you know, let me see. I will not be using this neck pickup again anyway, because I don't like it. Brand new pickguard. So the pickguard's a little wonky. These holes all look good, except for this one. So this hole is up higher than all the other bottom holes. Usually this hole on a pickguard is right here in the corner, and this one is up. So if I replace the pickguard, guaranteed this hole is not going to line up. But, oh, look at this. So we have a humbucker route up top. We have a humbucker route. So that's that's cool. Uh, some options there to do some stuff. Um, this, yep, yeah, just a cheap uh, ceramic pickup. Cheapest of the cheap. This cover looks like it's barely on. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> just was just hanging there. It wasn't even bent. The tabs weren't even bent. And we have this weird gooky stuff on top of the pickup. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the heck that is. It's like, uh, ah, just, I don't know, glue, I guess. Glue that didn't take. Pickup springs, can always use those in another project. Yeah, so these are garbage. Don't want that. Um, and the bridge. Oh, look. There's a, <laughs> it's a great big square route in the bridge. Here, let me, let me take this off. And then here, yeah, just cheapest of the cheap uh, crappy box switch. That's coming out. And yeah, these, these pots feel really good. I might reuse these. The pots feel good. Like they, it's got a green chiclet on the tone. And uh, I just don't know if these pots are... 250k or 500k but uh, we're gonna find out I'm gonna take all this stuff apart snip these wires and I'll show you the body um, this pickup is weird <laughs> it's got this weird looking brass plate underneath and it's ceramic also you can see the ceramic bar magnet underneath this brass piece and that's just like screwed on there so yeah yeah these are um, these are cheap so I guess everybody wants to find that guitar that this company is selling for like 190 bucks or 200 bucks, but that that's equivalent to like a six or seven hundred or one thousand dollar Telecaster that you'd find in a store, and um, that's not happening. This is a 200 dollar guitar at best, and at that I think it might be a little a little much for what you're getting. Uh, but if you're willing to mod the crap out of it and put another, you know, I'm, it's going to cost me more in parts than I paid for the guitar. I have some parts in my Amazon shopping cart. I'll go over that with you at the end of this video. And, um, and they're not like super high end parts either. Um, most of it's Music Lily stuff, but I, I'm, I'm approaching the $200 mark. After taxes, I'll be over 200 bucks. At the end of the day, this guitar is going to be a $400 Tele which uh, it'll be gigable and it'll be probably a, a nice one. Uh, but is it worth it? I don't know. 500 bucks, I can get something like that Capricorn and nothing stock is every bit as good as any thousand dollar Fender that you'd find in a music store. So I understand the budget guitar thing, but when you factor in your time and when you factor in the money that you have to put in the parts and all the mods you have to do to get everything to fit you know the fret leveling the like it's I don't know if a lot of guys realize how much work it is um, and you, you never get that money back out of a budget guitar like you just 
you can't sell, you know, even after I'm done, um, I can sell it for maybe 200 bucks or what I paid for it, but I'm not going to be able to sell a groove guitar for $400. It's right. Like it's so, so I'm into this and so I might as well keep it or give it away as a, as a gift or, um, you know, uh, cause you're, you're not getting back what you've invested in this. So that's the problem with budget guitars. Um, and I think that's what some people steer clear of, uh, when it comes to, you know, budget stuff. But the cool thing about budget guitars is you can make them exactly what you want them to be, right? You can have the pickups that you want, the parts that you want, the, and when you're done, you have a really awesome guitar that you enjoy for a fraction of the cost of what a brand name instrument would cost you. And a brand name instrument, you're going to change parts too. You are, because they don't build them for you. Right? They don't build those guitars with you in mind. They don't build them for your playing technique. They don't build them for the, your ears, like what you like to hear tone-wise. They just, they put them out. And uh, so it's obvious that when you buy one, you're probably going to want to change some stuff. So here what they did is they ran a ground wire. Uh, they drilled a little hole and the ground wire just comes under and through. And uh, yeah, so anyway, at least they grounded the bridge. On some budget builds, you don't see that. So that's coming out. And the cavities are good. They're really, they're well cut. Like they're, they're not splintered. You know, everything, everything looks nice. And there's tons of options. So there's a great big route here. So you can put any type of pickup in here. Well, except a full size P90, of course, but humbucker, humbucker size P90, mini humbucker up here, same thing. And then this uh, cavity down here is uh, plenty large. It's splintered where the drill came through for the wires, but um, other than that, it's good. And uh, yeah, so they kind of hacked up the bottom here. When they drilled through the side for the input jack, they kind of busted. Uh, they splintered the bottom here. See that? There's a great big gash of wood missing down there. But I mean, whatever. You're not going to see that. It's not a big deal. And that's not a scratch, just dust. Um, so yeah, so the body, other than these body holes being totally, you know, not centered to the heel, um, the body's really nice. All right, I'm gonna take this control plate apart because I wanna see if these are 250K pots. So they put 500K pots in their Telecasters. <laughs> so, the volume is a B 500K and the tone is an A. So audio taper and linear taper. So, and then these crappy switches. So the electronics in these guitars, um, uh, they suck. And there was no, there's no washer. So through the plate, so these were up here through the plate and there's just, just a nut. <laughs> There's no washer, you know, like between the plate and the nut. It was just a nut that screwed on. But, and yet, but yet they have this plastic protective film on top of the plate, which, which is weird. So they seem to go out of their way for some stuff and then just crappy parts and components on other stuff. And then the other thing is, this is a, the little top hat. I was just going to throw it out, but it's got... It's got the two sizes inside. So you put it one way, it'll fit Chinese switches and you put it the other way and it'll fit the American switches. So I'm gonna save this hat. <laughs> That's about the only thing I'm gonna save from those uh, electronics. Everything else is uh, garbage. So check this out. Now that I took the pickup out of the bridge, the only thing holding this plate to the pickup is the magnet. Look. <laughs> This magnet and this little soldered piece of wire. Oh my god. Like this is just total crap. Anyway. <laughs> yep. Well, I guess, you know, you get what you pay for. It's amazing. These guitars get really good reviews, surprisingly. Uh, I just, I don't know why. Because <laughs> they're, of all the budget guitars I've ever bought, these this has got to be the worst one. Like it's very, very, very basic. Um, you know, even the even the the neck plate is is wrong. So, 
Uh, I'm just, I'm surprised. But then again, it, you know, some of you might say, yeah, but it's got some cool, you know, it's got some cool options. And then the other problem too is the wire route is at the top of the pickup cavity, not at the bottom. On the website, they say that all the workers working in the factory are guitar players. They know about guitars and stuff. Well, clearly, the ones building them sure don't know much about them. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'm just expecting too much. But, you know, when you're drilling a hole, like, you know, I don't have the equipment to drill a hole at the bottom of this cavity to go straight across, right? So I don't know what they use. They must just use a drill and that's why they have it up here because they can't go down low because it goes through the back. To me, it would be better if the hole was high in the control cavity and drilled down to the pickup cavity than vice versa where it's high here and it's low down here. All right, let's pull out this jack. So just pull this out. Uh, no surprises here, just a normal jack cheap little jack with a very weak uh, I can bend this with my finger like super easy so yeah anyway it's pretty typical for a budget guitar no surprises there all right so that's it for the body folks so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put a P90 in the deck and I'm gonna put a tele pickup in the bridge I have a uh, a P90 here. I mean, it's not a super expensive one, but it'd be a heck of a lot better than this crappy thing. <laughs> That's for sure. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll do that, maybe. It'll be different. I don't have a Tele with a Tele bridge pickup and a P90 neck. I do have a Tele with two P90s in it, but this is, uh, might be might be cool. Anyway, I'm going to take those tuners off and we'll see how good those are. All right, so I got the tuners out. Um, yeah, just typical junk. So they're all like this. Check this out. So here is, okay, like a side view. And then, so watch. There, see that? So that's how much slop there is into it until it starts to catch and turn. So, there. It's probably like a, I don't know, like an eighth to a quarter inch of slop. Right there, that's just loose. And then, and the actual tuning peg is quite loose, right? So there's not a whole lot, like there's movement up and down. And then it's quite loose side to side. So yeah, these are, you know, they're junk. The only thing I'm saving off the neck are they're butterfly string tree spacers. <laughs> as far as the neck goes, like the fretboard, again, there's no fret sprout on this neck. And I don't know how level these frets are, but I will definitely check those out and post. I think I would, I don't know, I would assume there's a few high ones, but I'm going to uh, check. And you never know, maybe, uh, maybe the frets are good. <laughs> what would be the chances? Okay, so here's my parts list. I already have a black jack plate, so I don't need to order that. And I already have pickups and I have a switch, a three-way blade switch. So, black control plate, black bridge, Top load and string through body. Locking tuners. Uh, pure tone input jack. Some better, they're still metal, but some better string trees. Graph tech nut, pre slotted, self lubricating. Black strap buttons. Black pickguard screws. I'm ordering a regular black pickguard just for a regular tele pickup in case. And I'm ordering a string through body plate. And I'm ordering a black pickguard with a humbucker route. 
and some black knobs and some 250k pots total 211.35 if i go to checkout with the taxes here in canada you are looking at $250.82. That, ladies and gentlemen, is about $35 more than this whole guitar cost me, taxes included. So I'll have a $450 guitar plus a whole bunch of time when I'm done. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You know, ever since finding the Musies and finding um, the West Creek guitars and seeing how I can literally take those out of the box, just do a basic setup, basic setup, action, intonation, uh, maybe a change of strings, lubrication in the nut, take them to a gig and actually play them like I've been playing all of my guitars like for years and have no issues. Um, for maybe a hundred bucks more than what it's going to cost me to totally overhaul this guitar. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think this will be the last one. <laughs> I think this will be my last budget build. It's just, uh, I find it hard to justify that kind of money um, for something this basic. But, you know, I don't know. It's a fun project. And it allows you to hone in your skills, and it's a great pastime. But um, just not 100% sold on the math. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, you guys can let me know what you think. And uh, once the parts come in, we will assemble this baby. I will bring you along on this journey, and we'll see what the final product looks like. <laughs> Absolute worst case scenario. I just lost 450 bucks because <laughs> none of these parts are going back on this guitar. That's for sure. So you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you soon.